Hi guys, do you wanna see how I make these two beautiful citronella candles? Keep on watching. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be making candles using supermarket finds. I found these two beautiful bowls. I'm gonna be making these two candles, citronella buck. I'm gonna be making citronella buck repellent candles. Okay guys, for that I'm gonna be using these two oils from the flaming candle. The first one is citronella that I just got. And I'm gonna be using lemon lavender, okay guys? So in one candle, I'm only gonna be using citronella. In the other one, I'm gonna be mixing the two of them equal parts, okay guys? I just wanna see the difference. And I'm gonna be also using color for this. For the lavender candle, I'm gonna be using this lavender dye shift also from the flaming candle. And for the plain citronella, I'm gonna be using hunter green chips also from the flaming candle, guys. This is gonna be the first time that I'm gonna be using these dry chips, guys. So we'll experiment and we'll, we'll go through this together, okay, guys? And I also, I have also two more containers, guys, because we need to find how much wax do we need for these containers. Uh, so we're gonna be doing the water method. And for that, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, okay? Let me just move this. Okay, so we need to find out, guys, how much water do we want, do we want for the candle? And for that, I'm gonna, Fill it up with water at about half an inch from, from the top, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it at 20 ounces, okay? The big bowl is gonna have 20 ounces of water, so for that, I'm gonna make a note of that. That's for the big one. For the small one, I think I'm gonna leave it at 12 ounces. I think that's perfect. Okay, so the small one's gonna be 12 ounces. Okay, guys, so let's work on the numbers. So we know that the total fill, the water weight, for the big candle, it's going to be 20 ounces of water, okay? So we need to convert that into wax. Okay, let's convert 20 ounces of water into wax weight. So we're gonna do 20 times 0.86, 17.2, okay? So that means that 20 ounces of water equals 17.2 ounces of wax, okay? That includes the wax and the fragrance oil, okay? Oil candle is 12 ounces, so we're gonna do 12 times 0.86 equals 10.3, okay? So we're gonna put a note on that, 10.3 for the small candle. That's gonna be the total amount, including wax and fragrance oil. Okay, now let's figure out how, mu how much fragrance oil do we need for the big candle and how much wax do we need for the big candle, okay? 17.2 times 0 0.10, because we want 10%, equals 1.72, okay? Perfect. So now, if we have 1.72 ounces of uh, fragrance oil, how much wax do we need? Easy peasy. Subtract 17.2, the total fill, minus 1.72 equals time for eight. I'm gonna round it up to 15.5, okay? So we're gonna be needing 15.5 ounces of wax and 1.72 ounces of fragrance oil. That's gonna be for the big candle. Perfect! Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the small candle. So let's find out what is the total weight for the small candle. We already know that it's gonna be 10.3, okay? So I need 10% fragrance oil for the small candle. Easy peasy. 10.3 times 0.10 equals 1.03 okay so we need let's, let's say one ounce okay for all together so one ounce for small okay how much wax do we need okay so if we have 10.3 total fill minus 1.0 equals 9.3 okay so we're gonna need 9.3 ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance oil for the small candle perfection and I'm gonna be using PB600 wax for this project, guys. So I have in here my Paris cup because I'm gonna be using the microwave. I think it's the fastest way to go. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait the, the wax off camera, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So I already got the wax away, guys. I have in here the first one. This one is gonna be for the big candle and this one is gonna be for the small candle. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for six minutes. So let me read you a little bit about the information for these fragrance oils. This one is citronella fragrance oil 
from the flaming candle. Okay, bright and fresh fragrance that is most commonly used in bug repelling candles. The note profile is top note, lemon and orange, middle note, eucalyptus, bottom note, citronella. Okay, the next one is lavender, lemon lavender, an aromatic blend of herbaceous lavender and brilliant lemon pulp. The note profile, top lemon green herbal, middle notes eucalyptus, lavender, geranium and rose, and the bottom note violet musk and tonka bean. Okay, now I've been doing a lot of uh, a few a lot of research on the internet, guys, and they, they don't guarantee that this is gonna work. Okay, so it's gonna be our uh, we're gonna be trying this just for fun, you know, and just see if it works. If, you know, it's a plus. There are some oils, guys, that really help on the prevention of um, as to you to be used as mosquito rep uh, repellent, guys. So uh, I'm gonna read you a little bit of the information. The first one is citronella oil. Okay, the oil is, der is derived from the leaves and stems of various species, also known as lemongrass. Citronella is a popular choice for mosquito repellent candles because of its strong lemony scent that mosquitoes find unappealing. Okay, and number two is lavender oil. Not only does lavender have a calming and soothing scent, but it's also effective in repelling mosquitoes. Okay, and another oil they recommend is the eucalyptus, okay? This oil has a fresh, invigorating scent that mosquito dis dislikes. Okay, and also recommend lemongrass. Also, its citrusy scent is not only pleasant for us, but also repels mosquitoes. Okay, it's like, definitely guys, it's like, uh, they don't like, mosquitoes don't like citrusy, strong uh, smells, uh, smells, you know, especially uh, the, uh, the camphorous type, you know, like uh, eucalyptus, guys, that's why I like this, because this one has eucalyptus, okay. Okay, so the big candle is gonna have. You know what, guys? I feel like making the big candle the mix. Let's do the let's do the reverse. I'm gonna do the uh, the lavender, the lavender and these two together in this candle. Okay, so for that I'm gonna be needing the big candle is gonna be 1.72 ounces of fragrance oil. So I need to divide it in two. And now we're gonna go with the citronella. It smells divine, guys. Okay, perfection. This is strong. Woo! Talk about strong, okay. So since I'm here, I'm gonna also be measuring the other one. So the small one, for the small, we're gonna need one ounce, okay? One ounce of fragrance oil, and I'm only gonna use citronella. Whenever you work on the microwave, guys, make sure you have a, a safe oven mitten like this. It's 190, it's fine. I'm gonna put the lavender chips first. Okay. Now, I've never worked with this before, guys, so I don't know how this... It says in here to add one sheep per panel wax. Okay, so I'm only gonna add one. Beautiful, it matches my shirt. And at the same time, I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. 173 is perfect, guys, and for this kind of, for this wax, you are going to pour at around 135, 140, okay? Oh my God, it smells together, guys. It's something so incredible. You know, oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Let me take a piece of paper towel and see what color. So it looks very translucent. So I think I'm gonna add some more. I want it stronger, you know. I'm gonna add two. Why not? And you have to remember guys, when you, when the, when the wax solidifies, it's gonna get uh, lighter, okay? Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I think it's beautiful, guys, you see? The difference, this one is more purple in there, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that's the beautiful color that I want. Okay, it's not all the way clear, but let me just check the temperature. Okay, it's 194, it is, it is ready. Let me just get another. Let me just first put the color dye first. I'm gonna put two. I want it to be strong. I want, I want the candle to make a statement, so I'm gonna put two dye sheets, even though they recommend less. Okay, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna wait for this to dissolve. Put in the fragrance oil. Okay, and I'm gonna keep dissolving. I'm gonna keep stirring. Remember, you have to stir for two minutes, guys. Okay, it says that it's 150. That is way too low, so I'm gonna put it back in the, in the microwave. It went down too low, so I'm gonna put, I can do it otherwise. Yeah, you have to stir for two minutes, guys, and you have to make sure that, it, because everything is blended together in the, wa in the, in the wax. If your wax goes low like that, like, like it went, you have to put it back on the heat. Okay, 171 is fine. They're gonna make such beautiful festive candles. Okay guys, we're ready to pour candle number one. Lemon, lavender, and citronella. 
on our brick ball. Oh my God, this is amazing, guys. Oh my God, this is a thing of beauty. This is gonna be a conversation piece for sure. So beautiful once it solidifies, guys, because you're gonna see the whole color in there. Candle number two, ready to be poured, yes. Beautiful green color, guys. Oh my God, the color is so rich. Very luxurious, very decadent, you know? This is the, oh my goodness, gorgeous. This is only Citronella by itself. I'll be back once the candle solidified to finish the video. Yes! Okay guys, welcome to my garden. Beautiful, yes! Let me show you the beautiful candle. This is the combination Citronella and Lemon Lavender. And this is a Citronella by itself. As you can see, they look very festive. Perfect for outdoor tables, guys. Again, these are the oils, lo lemon lavender and citronella, both of them from the flaming candle. Okay, guys, so thank you for joining me today, guys, on today's video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, guys, share my content with all your friends and family, guys. And don't forget also to check out my website, Candle Romance, so you can purchase all my beautiful candles. Until the next video, guys, be well. I love you. Yes! Yes!